Hi everybody, this is Crystal. Welcome to my channel, Back at the Crochet, where we talk about everything that is yarn and crochet related. So today I'm going to be doing a crochet tutorial. So I'm going to show you how to make that twisted um, uh, cowl there that you saw my son wearing in the picture. Now this is suitable for a man or a woman. And as you can see, I'll hold it up here. It is made with the star stitch. And since it has the twist uh, permanently um, crocheted into it, the sides mirror each other, only opposite. So when you look at it, you can see the star stitch here. It's actually the star stitch here, but when you flip it, it's on the right side here and on the back side here. That way when you twisted it, like you see the picture, that is twisted twice around my son. It flips up the correct way like it's supposed to. So I'm gonna give you the measurements of this one and I'll give you the, uh, the multiple and then you can adjust it to whatever size you'd like. Like I said, uh, the picture there, that is double twisted um, around his neck, but lengthwise folded in half. Like if he was, you know, it is 24 inches and then width is about six inches and you can make yours as wide as you'd like as well so it's very easy to do this it's very fun and it's actually a pretty quick project to do didn't take me long at all and i love the star stitch it's a beautiful stitch so why don't we go ahead and get started on this cowl now remember or affinity scarf whatever you want to call it twisted mobius cowl whatever but um Remember, you can make it bigger or smaller, and you can make it wider or more narrow if you choose. So the yarn I use for this project is uh, Yarn Snob Yards uh, Gradient Cake. It is a 100% superwash merino, 363 yards per cake, and the color I use is called Writer's Block. And then I did have to use, I used the entire cake, and then I had to use a little bit more of the same brand, only in the color All Natural, that is the white. I finished it in white along the edge there, so I thought it worked well with it there. Okay, um, you don't have to use this yarn. Any four-weight yarn will work. I'd say you're going to need about 400 yards, uh, 420 yards, something like that, to make it the size that I made it. But if you know, if you're going to make it bigger, you're going to need more but if you want to make it smaller you won't need quite so much but any four weight yarn will work and and then i'm going to be using a size j which is a six millimeter crochet hook so i'm going to show you with a different yarn because there's no way that that black yarn would have shown up <laughs> very good on my camera so uh this is just a medium weight uh value acrylic four weight value acrylic that i'm using right now so this stitch is done in any multiple of two um so my for my particular size i chained 200 stitches so if you want to do it like me you chain 200 and then we form one long big ring okay so we'll, we chain the even number of stitches which i did 200 and then we slip stitch into our first chain to form a ring so once you get your chain, as long as you want it to be, or if you're following along with me, 200, go ahead and follow it down, and we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch to form a ring. Now this is going to be how we connect. There we go. Slip stitch like that. So now you have your ring. I'm doing mine on a little bit smaller of a scale here. So we're going to go ahead and start off by chaining one. And then we're going to go right back into that same spot that we just slip stitched into and we're going to work a half double crochet so the half doubles where we yarn over and we go into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into and we have three loops on our hook we're going to yarn over and go through all three now we're going to work around our chain and we're going to be putting one half double crochet into every single stitch all the way around our big ring. So row one is one half double in every stitch until you make it back to your starting point. Thank you. 
All right, so you've made it back around to your starting point and you did a half double crochet in every stitch and you should have 200 half double crochets. And remember, it's very important that you have your even number of stitches. Now, this is how we're gonna get the twist. It's very, very simple to get a perma twist. I call it a perma twist in an infinity scarf. Take it, this part over here, and flip it upside down like that. And now we're just gonna start working on the bottom of the chain, all right? Don't slip stitch to close yet. So we just take it over here, flip, and now we're gonna work one half double crochet in every stitch along the bottom of the chain. So your first stitch would go right here where your first half double went before, kind of that little slip stitch spot. So you just continue around working a half double crochet in every stitch, but now we're working on the bottom of the chain see that and that's going to create a permanent twist in your work which is what is very classic of the mobius style uh wraps and the twisted infinity scarves not all infinity scarves have to have the twist but some of them do so i'm working around putting one half double crochet in every stitch along the bottom of the chain now as you can see as i work i kind of have to move along because it has that twist and i'm going to do that all the way around until i make it back here to my starting point just like that All right, so I've made it back to my starting point. I've actually went around the top and the bottom of my chain and you can see, move my tail, the perma twist that's in it now. Now we're gonna start the star stitch. So it's a two row repeat. We're gonna have the star stitch row, which we're getting ready to do now, and then a half double crochet row. So it's actually quite easy to do. So let's go in and end this round by slip stitching into our first half double crochet. So we're working the star stitch in the round. All right. So this is how we're gonna do it. We're gonna start it by chaining three. One, two, three. Now we're gonna work in the second stitch from our hook. We don't count the one that's on our, on our, on our hook, okay? There's one and there's two. We're gonna go into that one and all we're gonna do is grab the yarn and draw up a loop. And then we're going to go into the next chain, which is actually the last chain here, and do the same thing. Go into it and draw up a loop. You see now you have three loops on your hook. Now we're going to go back down to where we first slip stitched and go into that spot and draw up a loop. And you got four loops on your hook. Now we're going to go into the next two stitches and do the same thing. We're going to go into the next stitch, draw up a loop. You got five loops on your hook. And then the next stitch and draw up a loop. You got six loops on your hook. So that's what you need for the star stitch. Now we're going to yarn over and go through all six stitches. And then we're going to chain one. So that is how the first star stitch of every round is made. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the eye of the star, which is actually right here where we just kind of chain, we just go right into it and draw up a loop. And you got two loops on your hook. And now you see this little leg of the star right here? Just go into that. It's actually just one little loop and then draw up a loop like that. Now you got three loops on your hook. Now we're gonna go into the same spot where we Put our last stitch of the last star right here and draw up a loop. Four loops on our hook. And now we're going to do the same thing in the next two stitches. So we're going to go into the next stitch, draw up a loop. You got five loops on your hook. And then the next stitch after that, draw up a loop. You got six loops on your hook. Yarn over and go through all six and chain one. So that's how the remaining star stitches are going to be made all the way around. So let's go ahead and do it again. So we go into the eye of the star 
and draw up a loop. And then this last little leg right here of the star, it's kind of just one little loop there, see that? And draw up a loop. You've got three loops on your hook now. Now we go into the same stitch that this last leg of the star is in. Draw up a loop. Now you got four loops on your hook. And then we're going to do the same thing into the next two stitches. Go in, draw up a loop. You got five loops. And then go into the next one. Draw up a loop. You got six loops. Yarn over and go through all six. And chain one. And that is another star main. Let's do it again. So we're going to go into the eye of the star. And draw up a loop. So you got two loops now on your hook. And then this last leg of the star here. This little loop here. Go through that and draw up a loop. Three loops on your hook. And then we go into the same stitch that this last leg went into. Draw up a loop, four loops on our hook, and then the next two stitches we do the same. We go into the next one, draw up a loop, that makes five loops on our hook, and the next one, draw up a loop, that makes six loops on our hook. Yarn over and go through all six, and chain one. Now we're going to repeat this all the way around until we have one stitch that remains, and that is where I'll meet back up with you. All right, so I've made it all the way around here. So I have done a star stitch. You can see that I've worked in this stitch here. This is my last unworked stitch. Here is where I slip stitched before and started. So I have one stitch left. So this is how we end the star stitch round. So we're going to go ahead and work our star stitch like we normally would. So we go into the eye of the star and draw up a loop and into this last leg, that loop of it, drop a loop, and then into the same stitch that that last leg went into. And then we're gonna go into the last stitch of the round. Now we have no more stitches left, but we still need to do one more. What we do is we go right over here and we go into the same spot that we slip stitched into where we started our very first half double crochets right there and draw up a loop and now you got six loops on your hook yarn over and go through all six chain one and now we're going to go ahead and slip stitch right here into the top of the star stitch right there and not only that round. So that is how the star stitch round is done. And if you look, you can see that you made it around both sides of the turn. When you twist it, you got star stitches on both sides. So now we'll go ahead and do the next row, which is the uh, other, the uh, second repeat row of this pattern. Do the star stitch and now we're going to do this. So we're going to do a row of half double crochets. We're going to be working them into the eye of the star. So that little hole there, that chain one space. First off we're going to start by slip stitching into the eye of the first star. Just like that and we are going to chain one. We're going to go back in that same spot there and we're going to work two half double crochets into that spot. So there's one and there's two. Now we're going to work around in every eye of the star right there, right there, right there. We're going to put two half double crochets into that spot. There's one there and one there. Come over here to the next one, that little hole there two half doubles, one there, and one there. The next one, just a little hole right here, two half doubles. And we're going to continue this working in two half double crochets in the eye of every star until you make it back around to your starting point.
And if you're following along with me, it'll be 400 half double crochets. Because we started with 200, but then when we flipped it, we did the 200 again because we worked on both sides of the chain. I hope that makes sense. So it's a long way around, <laughs> a lot of stitches, but that is what you will have. So I'm gonna continue around, I'm working two half doubles in the eye of every star, and I'll meet back up with you when I make it back around to my starting point. That's what it's starting to look like there. It looks good. All right, so I've made it back around working two half double crochets in the eye of every star, and I made it here to the end. Now these, this right here is this kind of a the chain. We don't do anything here. We just go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first half double crochet. So right over here, and kind of pull it tight like that. And that ends the half double crochet round. So that's all it is now, is a repeat of the star stitch round and the half double crochet round. So you just keep repeating those two rounds. So again, you would just start the star stitch off by chaining three. So I'm just repeating the star stitch round. Going into the second stitch from the hook, drawing up a loop. The next chain, drawing up a loop. Back in the same spot we just slip stitched into, drawing up a loop, and then in, into the next two stitches, drawing up a loop. Just like that, and chain one, and we would continue that. Now you can keep repeating the star stitch and a half double crochet for as thick as you want it to be. Like I said, mine's about six inches, and I had I did a total of one. It's kind of hard to see because of the the black here one two three i did three rounds of the star stitches so if you look closely i did here's my uh two here's where my piece divides and starts to mirror itself so i did the first half double crochet star stitch half double crochet star stitch half double crochet star stitch half double crochet and then after I did that, I ended on a half double crochet row. And what I did after that was I just did a finishing round of one single crochet in every stitch. So I just finished on a half double crochet row. I got it as wide as I want it to be. You just go ahead and chain one and go back into that same stitch and single crochet and just work around and put one single crochet into every single stitch. Just like that. And that'll give it a, a nice clean edge. This is actually where I switched yarn colors because I ran out of the cake, but I think it blended in quite nicely. It's not really that noticeable. But that's it. Super easy. Once you get done with the single crochet row, you just slip stitch and hide any tails. And you have a very beautiful twisted cow suitable for a man woman um great for gifts anything you'd like remember you can make it as thick as you'd like you can make it a lot thicker and just make it you know a complete wrap if you want it's the sky's the limit it's completely up to you i always say i just kind of lay out lay out the design and then you play it out i lay it out you play it out to your likings so if you do make something like that with something if you make this or you know you change it up you know change it make it bigger or smaller show me a picture on my bag of day crochet pa facebook page i'd really like to see it there's a link to that below in the description box. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my tutorials or my yarn content. There is a uh, link at the very top of the description box. It'll take you to over a thousand crochet tutorials, all free for you to enjoy. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!